Let's try setting up an expression. You mailed three identical letters weighing more than one ounce each. Mailing each letter costs 39 cents for the first ounce plus 24 cents for each additional ounce. Each letter required $1.59 postage. How much did each letter weigh? All right, so there is some extra information here that we don't need to know about. It says that each letter required $1.59 postage, and they're talking about mailing three letters. Well, we don't really need to know about all three letters. We only need to know about one letter because we're really only looking for the total of one letter. So I'm just gonna think about one letter. I don't need to worry about all three. And I know that I paid 0 0.39 for the first ounce plus 0 0.24 for each additional ounce. So the flat rate is 0 0.39 and then there's gonna be some additional money. So we're thinking about the ounces. We could say total ounces equals T. It's probably not a good idea to use O for ounces because it looks like a zero. So the total ounces is T. Well, we're already paying for one ounce at 39, and then the rest of it is gonna be 24 cents per ounce. But We've already paid for one, so I'm gonna subtract one of the ounces. See, this is the total number of ounces. We've already paid for this one ounce by giving the 39 cents. So I don't need to pay an additional 24 cents for that ounce. So be careful to subtract that ounce so that you don't get double charged for it. Equals 159. All right, now let's go ahead and solve this. I'm gonna be distributing the 0 0.24 and distributing the 0 0.24. So 0 0.39 is for the first ounce plus 0 0.24 for each additional ounce, minus the 0 0.24 for that ounce that we've already accounted for here. I can combine my like terms, which are the 39 cents minus 24 cents, and that is five, so 15 cents. So we have 0 0.15 plus 0 0.24 T equals 159. Now, it's a two-step equation. I can subtract my numbers, 0 0.15, cancels out. I have 0 0.24t equals 9 minus 5 is 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, and 1, 144. And now I'm going to divide by 0 0.24. Cancel that out. t equals... Let's come over here and do our division. It's going to be 1.44 divided by 0 0.24. We move our decimal over twice, so do the same on the inside. 24 won't go into 14, so I have to take an estimated guess. I'm going to say about, um, well, 25 will go into 100 four times, and then 44 is almost 50, so I'll say another two more. So let's say a total of six times. Six times four is 24, looking good. 12, 13, 14, perfect. So T equals six. So the total ounces is six ounces. And let's go back and check our question and make sure it's not asking how much additional ounces there were. It says how much did each letter weigh? So we wanted the total ounces for one letter. So we're gonna say each letter weighed six ounces. So remember to include your unit. Thank you for watching educator.com.